Avoiding negativity is very important if you want to be successful, because being in a negative atmosphere can simply drain all of the energy out of you, and especially being around negative people can be absolutely soul destroying. Here in the UK, there's a comedian called Harry Enfield, and he does lots of different characters. And one of them is this guy who's incredibly negative and finds fault with everything and corrects everybody. And he has this sort of irritating little nasally voice. And he goes, you don't want to do it like that all the time. And ever somebody does something, oh, you don't want to do it like that. You want to do it like this. And he does this over and over and over again. And I suppose we've all met people like this in our lives, and I'm sure Harry Enfield probably based him on a couple of people that he knew, perhaps, I don't know. But we've all met people like this, and they're just the sort of people that you have a strong urge to hit repeatedly with something heavy and blunt. And they probably go, oh, you don't want to hit me with a baseball bat. You want to use a bit of lead pipe. All right, mate, if that's what you want, that's what we'll do. But, you know, it just can be really, really irritating and really soul destroying because they'll find something wrong or suggest an alternative with just about everything. So in this video, I'm going to give you five ways to avoid negative people or more specifically to avoid letting negative people drag you down into their pit of negativity. And way number one is to take responsibility. You know, stop being a victim of these negative people. Go from blaming, judging and criticizing to assuming full responsibility for your own thoughts and feelings. You know, when someone says, you don't want to do it like that, well, actually, yes, I do, because if I didn't want to do it like that, I wouldn't be doing it, would I? So take a different approach to how you deal with their negativity and don't respond in kind. You know, negativity feeds off itself. Way number two is to avoid complainers. Now, people who complain about everything will never enhance your life. You know, they're not looking for solutions. They just want to do nothing and moan. In fact, if you offer a solution, they'll find something wrong with it. And if you point out an obvious solution, they won't thank you because they actually enjoy being negative. So only deal with them if you absolutely have to. Way number three is to keep a positive outlook yourself. Like attracts like, and whether we like it or not, we attract into our lives people, events, and situations that mirror our internal state of mind. So, how do you feel on a regular basis? Are you feeling happy, excited, grateful, loving? Or are you feeling irritable, judgmental, negative, and frustrated? You know, keep those feelings in check. Way number four is don't overanalyze the situation. Negative people can sometimes behave irrationally, and you'll waste valuable time and energy if you try to make sense of all their actions. So do whatever you can to prevent yourself from becoming emotionally invested in their issues. Way number five, let go of your own need to complain. Take responsibility for your own emotions and state of being. Don't go around complaining about how much other people's negativity is affecting you, because this will only create more negativity. Assume responsibility for your own thoughts and feelings and see what you can do to feel better, what you can do to change the current situation by changing your lenses, by changing your attitude and by changing the way that you look at things. Finally, stop listening to that irrational voice in your own head that's constantly doing you down and telling you what you can't do. When you start taking a more positive attitude, you'll find that your life and mood will improve by the same proportions.